Hi everyone, Gabriella here from The Sewing Studio, and today I'm here with another employee challenge. This time around, I asked my creative coworkers to make something from the $5 per yard sale section in our store, which could very well be one of my favorite spots in The Sewing Studio to find truly unique fabrics without breaking the bank. The guidelines were that they needed to use fabrics from the $5 per yard sale section, and it had to be wearable somehow. We are filming this video because we need you to vote for your favorite entry in the comments and the contestant with the most votes will win this challenge. We have a total of 10 brave contestants that have come forward to compete against each other and I am so excited to show you. Let's get started. Introducing contestant number one, Linda, with her tunic made dress. Hello. Linda, tell us about your dress. Well, I'd be glad to because I did a lot of work to make this dress. First of all, it started off when I saw this fabric on the $5 table and I could not resist it. And I said, this has to come home with me. So after a few months, I had planning what I was going to do because I only had so much fabric okay. that I had to make it work. Yeah. So I laid the pattern out. I knew I wanted this elephant in the front and I knew I wanted the elephant in the back. So I had to go from there. Fussy cut to perfection. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and after I, after I knew it fit well, then I had to put the sleeves in. And when I did the sleeves, I had to make sure that the fronts were the same as well as the backs. Okay. So that took some planning too. And they are exactly the same. Because I had to flip flop the fabric and then I had to make sure I did the right sides, wrong sides together so that they match when I did it. And I did the top stitching around here with a quarter inch foot to make it really, really, really perfect. Okay. And I had to make sure that the stripes matched all the way around, which you can see. But when I did the stripes, I had to make sure I measured from the bottom up and not from the up down, I mean the top down, I should say, because if I would have done that, it wouldn't have matched here because of the dart. So I had to do it from here up. And this doesn't match perfect here, but it does down here. Okay. And when I got it all finished and tried it on, I realized it was too short. So then I had to get, find a nice piece of pretty pink fabric to match the elephant to extend it four inches. So that's it. And you used the pattern from I did. the Sewing Basics 1? I did. Sewing Basics 2 course. Right. All so you, you to... literally turned a tunic into a dress. I did do that, yes. Okay, using $5 a yard fabric. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's a beautiful entry. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Introducing contestant number two, Kathy, with her sun hat and laptop case. <laughs> Kathy, tell us about what you made. Well, good morning. This is a sun hat, and this fabric is stunning. And it was so easy to make. I took a beautiful uh, straw hat that I've worn a lot, and I know fits me well and has a great brim, and I just draped the fabric to make the crown. If anyone's interested, I will draft the pattern for you. I also made a laptop case from my new iPad Pro that my son got me. And uh, this is so easy. It's just basic fabric with a little bit of the Bosal foam inside and trimmed in ultra suede. And we sell this ultra suede in a really pretty assortment of colors. I love it. <laughs> they, they go great together. Your iPad's gonna be protected at the beach now. That's right. I need to keep that sun off my face. And, and I have my new fabric. sunglasses. You got this fabric from the $5. Got this fabric project. and I've been saving it for just the right project. And this is perfect for me. That's Useful awesome. and beautiful. <laughs> Great entry. Thank you so much, Kathy. All right. Thank you. Bye now. Introducing contestant number three, Howard, with this awesome shirt. You got this fabric off the $5 a yard table, huh? I did. Awesome. Tell us about it. Um, it's a crepe. And so I, I love a crepe and it's nice and soft and there was only two yards. So I said, what do I make? I said, I'll make a shirt. Good idea. You matched patterns in the front. Mm -hmm. Pockets. That's a lot of work. And then in the back, just I changed the pleat to be an inverted pleat so you could actually see the pattern. That's amazing. And the pattern that you used is this new look pattern. And it's pretty simple. It is really simple. But and you it, made it difficult by matching the patterns. <laughs> a little thing, but again, we have a lot of men now that want to sew here, that come into the sewing studio. Yeah. This is a great project to start with. It's two yards. It's a simple pattern to lay out. You can make it, and I'm now ready to work. That's awesome. Great entry, Howard. Thank you so much. Thank you. Introducing contestant number four, Kelsey, with this beautiful dress she made. 
You got this off of the $5 a yard table. I did. I am obsessed with this fabric. Um, it is something like a cotton linen and it has a beautiful, beautiful lace scalloped edge at the bottom of the fabric. So I was kind of saving it for the perfect pattern. And the perfect pattern is the Amsterdam dress by Little Lizard King. Um, that's an online pattern company and I did print it off, tape it together and cut it out to make this dress. <laughs> it looks great on you. It fits great. I love that you chose it because of the scalloped edge yes. and you found a pattern for that yes. to showcase that. Yeah, I had a vision in mind and this is my vision. Um, the pattern was very well written. I don't normally make clothing because normally it doesn't fit me, but I'm really proud of this dress and I've actually already worn it out to dinner with my husband. and Worn and washed, it still looks good. Yes, he accidentally <laughs> threw it in the dryer and um, it didn't shrink, <laughs> it still fit. That's amazing. So some of the features that I really liked about this fabric and the pattern it's got an invisible zipper on the side so you can't this which side, side is it this yeah side? this side you can't Under see it <laughs> um, and it's got some darts it has some ruffling it has a nice tie in the back and um, some elastic back there and i just really love this dress i love it too <laughs> and i can't believe i made it that's awesome great entry thank you kelsey thank you <laughs> And now I'm introducing contestant number five, Gabriella. Hi, my entry is a pair of pants. Um, the ones that I'm wearing, obviously. I used this pattern, the Sasha trousers pattern from Closet Case. It was an easy pattern to follow. I think the fit is nice. And for these pants, I combined four different fabrics to make the one fabric. And I'll show you how. So first, I laid my yardage out and I started with the scuba knit. I found all of these on the $5 in the $5 section. So I laid out the scuba knit because I wanted my fabric to have my pants to have some kind of substance and not just be knit. So then I laid this knit on top. It's kind of got stripes and squares and different prints, so I thought, okay, yeah, it's going to be great to combine more prints. So this black and white fabric was another fabric that I laid down and stitched on um, in certain places. And the flowers that you see is another fabric that I laid out, ironed heat and bond on the back, and then cut the flowers out the way that I wanted, peeled the heat and bond paper off, and then laid them where I wanted them to be and press them and then stitched around. Yeah, let's take a look at the pants. You know you have true talent when you can take four completely different fabrics and combine them to get this look right here. I yeah. mean, it's amazing. Thank you. I love that you're not afraid of different stripes and flowers and colors and borders. It's amazing. Yeah, I think the more prints, the better, in my opinion. That's awesome. Well, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing contestant number six, Velma, with her entry is a beautiful blouse with long peplum sleeves. And you got this fabric off of the $5 yard table, right? Yes. Awesome, okay. And look at this detail with the trim. And you connected this part of your sleeve with the trim here, and then there's no fabric back there, right? Okay, awesome, beautiful. Give us a little turnaround. How much fabric did it did it take? One and a quarter. One and a quarter yards. yards. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's not too much. Five dollars five dollars a yard? That's a bargain. You're ready for a night out. Yes. Okay, thank you, Velma. Okay. Introducing contestant number seven, Shirley. Hello. And her entry is this beautiful dress. What a great $5 find. Yes. Tell us about it. So I love summer uh, column dresses, uh, sleeveless. I can't wear it to work because I'm always cold. So I always have long sleeves on, but when I'm out in the summer, um, I love uh, a, a dress like this. 
one thing that I did differently than the pattern, instead of doing regular facings, I did uh, black accent lycra pieces, which I stitched into a circle, and then you just stitch it to the, the your face, your armholes, and your neckline. So that was a really fun, uh, different accent for the dress. I really like that addition, and it yes. gives it makes the it makes the, makes the width of your shoulder thicker. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's it's great. Give us a little turn. Yes. <laughs> And this fabric has like a little raised surface on yes. it. It's like an, an extra little painted surface. Yes, it is. It's very and different. It was very easy to sew on. Um, so I love the fabric and I love black and white. So it was perfect for me. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Introducing contestant number eight, Jane Ann. Her entry is this blouse. Jane Ann, tell us about it. I will. <laughs> I saw this fabric on the $5 table and immediately was challenged because I love the ribbons in it. And my first idea was to add some ribbons that would just flow, but you know, the weight of them wouldn't flow like with the fabric. Right. So then I started looking at patterns. Okay. And I saw this Butterick pattern. Okay. okay. Nice. All right. And I said, you know what? I could take ribbons and make my own yoke. It came out awesome. So you wove all, all of these. those ribbons together. Mm -hmm. This is perfect and right in time for Valentine's Day. Yes, <laughs> I love it. And it's two of my signature colors, red and black. I mean, so the level of skill is probably gonna be medium because you have to be patient in weaving these. Yeah. Because and you're doing one part of the yoke and then you're doing another part of the yoke. Then they get joined to the top and then there's actually an underlining of the fabric. Right. So a little bit of patience. Plus well, on top of all that, this is a knit fabric. And it is so. a knit, completely done on the serger. Yep. There wasn't enough fabric to do sleeves. And I, and I was like, oh, I don't wanna do sleeveless. And then I thought, well, why can't I use this wonderful stretch knit? I love that addition. Isn't that great? It's really a great style choice. And you know, when you have something thin like that, just a little layer provides enough warmth. You yeah. You don't need a full sleeve. Comfort, warmth. So, yes. Yep. So I'm loving it and I hope you do too. Vote for me. <laughs> Thank you, Jane Ann. You're welcome, <laughs> see you later. And contestant number eight is Carolyn. This is her entry. She couldn't be here today, but she turned in her outfit right in time for the competition. So she gets to participate. And what she turned in is this beautiful, we'll do one at a time. It's a two piece set. She used this beautiful Easter colored spring chiffon blouse. And she is just an amazing seamstress. She has the neckline sewn by hand. I mean, I would not have the patience for that. I would be doing that on the machine. But she thought, yep, this fabric is very delicate. I need to sew it by hand. And she did it. It's beautiful. And so we'll look at the skirt now, the skirt that matches the dress. This is perfect for a morning brunch out and she did the same on the bottom with the hand sewing of the hem i mean rolled edge hand sewn look at that flounce the movement is beautiful and the colors are beautiful and i know that this would look so good on carolyn so good luck carolyn introducing contestant number 10 sheila with another gorgeous dress. Hello. Um, I, so tell us about this. Well, it's a Georgette that I found on the $5 bin. And uh, it has open sleeves yeah, to give you some air. Turn this way so we can see this detail. It looks like a tulip. It does, I guess. I think that's actually what they're called. Yeah. And it has um, like um, the same idea on the neck. And, uh, and I made a matching mask. Wow, that's beautiful. 
Thank you. I really do like the floral on that, and it, it, it feels like it'll be cool. Nice it, summery yes. dress. And I like the, the contrast from the bright flowers to the back, dark background, because it makes them pop. It sure does. Mm. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. <laughs> now, here is your call to action. Please vote in the comments for your favorite entry using the contestant's number. We will be announcing the winner of this challenge on Tuesday, February 8th. Thank you so much for participating in our employee challenges, and I hope you'll like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all the fun stuff that happens here at the sewing studio. See you next time.